Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here today. <laughs> Reality Redemption mod. We're gonna do it on the PC first and then copy the files over to a Steam Deck so that we can enjoy it over there as well. First off, we're gonna download beta 2.9 at the time of this video. 2.8 and 2.9 are very, very different in how they do things. So we're gonna just start with 2.9, even though I did release the 2.8 before. You can see I already have a copy of this downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it again. Next up, go to Red Dead Redemption in Steam, do a manage and browse local files. This is the folder right here. You can see it may be different depending on where you have it installed. This is where we're gonna copy the mod folder. So down here, we're gonna extract this, use whatever tool set you would prefer. I'm a WinRAR guy, but I think uh, 7Z is built into Windows 11 now, but whatever, whatever you need to do to unpack a 7Z file. All right, now we got a folder. Inside the folder are the files. You need to have one folder level, right? So we're gonna copy this folder up. Well, I moved it. And you can see here, it's right here inside of the Red Dead Redemption folder, one, one layer in, one folder in. So you can't put it on the root and you can't put it with a folder within a folder. So it has to be in here. That got me the first time, that's why I bring it up. Okay, there's the installer.bat. There's a readme if you'd like to know more about this mod, but we're gonna assume you know all about it. You're just here to see it installed. All right, so this runs a batch file and uh, we'll press a key to continue, uninstall or install. Of course, we'll be installing. And here we go. So it does a bunch of prep work and then it's gonna start asking you. This is not, um, this is not unattended. You're gonna have to sit here with it the whole time. So in our case here, uh, it says install silent virtues menu. This is pretty big. This is a big thing. Uh, it does a lot of interesting stuff. We're gonna install everything. So I'm gonna say yes to literally everything. Now, this is gonna take a while, even if you're sitting here ready to go and hit Y. I'm gonna speed this thing up. Uh, it took about four and a half minutes to do this whole thing. And I've said Y to everything, every single thing that pops up. Four minutes, 30 seconds. I just wanted to leave this here so you could hit pause if you wanted to on the video and see what sort of things are being done here. I was gonna just clip it out, but I figured 8X was fast enough that you guys could still see it and we wouldn't sit here and spend, you know, four minutes and 30 seconds doing it. Obviously, if you say no to some of these mods, this process will be shorter, but I want it all. I want it all and probably so do you. All right, we'll let this thing finish itself up. And if you're on the PC and there's no Steam Deck involved, you're done. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Thanks so much for watching. Now, moving on to the Steam Deck, I'm going to SSH over to the Steam Deck to my Red Dead Redemption folder. Now, you can do whatever you like. Use a network share, use SSH, SSHFS, sneaker net, use a flash drive, whatever you want. But you need to copy the update folder and the dinput a DLL. As you can see, I've already copied them over. I've used SSH here, but you can use what you like. We're not quite done yet though. So now let's hop back over to the Steam Deck, go into your gear and properties, and you need to put this DLL override right here. The text is in the description below. Please don't type this out longhand, just copy it from the text below and paste it in. Now it's time to test it. And I'm gonna show you how to make sure you know that it's actually running. So we're gonna go ahead and clip all this load out. You're welcome, because you don't need to see any of it. And once we get started, it should be pretty apparent that the, uh, that the mod worked. See, it says launched. I bet you never saw that at the bottom. Oh, and by the way, welcome to Silent Virtues. <laughs> so if you hold down X and press the left bumper, it will open up a whole separate submenu of stuff. I would consider most of these like cheats or God modes or overrides or any sort of other sort of thing. For those who really wanna get deep, deep, deep into the game, right bumper gets you out of that, by the way. It took me a little bit to figure that out. And that's it, let's go run around and see the, uh, see the fruits of our labor. Of course, if you like what we're doing here, like, subscribe, hit the bell, you guys know what to do. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. I read all the comments, you guys are the best. There you go. He it looks great. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.